number um, 42, we do have to um, draw these two inequalities in the plane. So let's begin with x uh, minus 2y squared is greater than or equal to 0. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring um, the the 2y squared to the other side. And let us draw the graph of x is equal to 2y squared, and then just shade in um, our inequality. So for, for this graph, it kind of looks like this graph over here, y is equal to 2x squared. So we know that this graph, it's a parabola that opens upwards, right? Which is the relationship between an input and twice its square. So uh, when we're, we're talking about this equation over here, x is equal to 2y squared, it behaves the same way, it's the same logic, however, um, it's treating y as the input. So instead of opening up on the, the y-axis, where y would be the, the output, it's opening up on the x-axis, where x is now considered the output. So let's, um, let's draw this in, and it'll, it'll look the same, right? But in, it'll... And actually, I want to do this in a different color. It'll open up here. So this is our curve uh, x is equal to 2y squared. And we just have to draw um, the inequality. So we want where x is greater than this curve. So um, x will be greater all over here because if we choose anything to the left of this x will be less than this right um, because to the right is where x is positive so all right we have our first um our first inequality now let us find the the second one so for this one we do have that um one minus x minus y is greater than or equal to zero. Um, so what we want to do is we want to um, kind of isolate x once more, just like we did previously. So what we'll do is we'll bring x over to the other side. So we have that one minus um, y, the absolute value of y is equal to x, sorry, not equal to, is greater greater than or equal to x. Now, once more, let's just um, make the parallel with, with um, let's see. Actually, before this, we want to just set this equal to, to x so that we can draw the graph, and then afterwards, we're going to fill in the inequality. So once more, we're going to make the parallel between y is equal to 1, um, 1 minus the absolute value of x. And let's just see if that is correct. Um, yes. So once more, it'll it'll behave the same way, except we'll have to flip it over, right? So let's draw this in. Uh, so this is the absolute value function that has been reflected downwards, but shifted upwards one. So it begins at y equals one, and then it opens up downwards like this, right? Um, so it was just flipped upside down and shifted upwards. So really, uh, our equation will look the same, except it will be reflected over onto the x-axis. Uh, I guess not reflected, rotated, because now it's treating, uh, it's treating x as an input. Sorry, it's treating y as an input and x as an output. So, um, and now I'll have to do this in a stronger color. So this is, it begins at 1, right? It begins at 1, but then it opens up. It opens up in the negative direction for the x-axis. It opens up in the negative direction. So it should do something like this. And we can clearly see, uh, well, first we have to find where x is. Uh, and then it's saying that this area is greater than or equal to x. So x is smaller than or equal to this, uh, the shaded region. So now... For this one, we are opening upward, we're opening downwards, right? Because we want the area that's less than or equal to this one. Um, 
So here we can see that where they intersect is this, um, and maybe I'll, I'll color this, the stronger color. So they, they do intersect at this little area over here. Yeah, this is their, their area of intersection. So um, we have to actually find where these curves, they, they meet each other so that we can integrate them, right? So we'll just set this equal to each other. Um, we'll say that, let's see, 2y squared is equal to, let's see, that was, um, I, I forgot what I did. This, oh, yeah, this is 1 minus absolute value of y uh, is equal to x, is equal to 1. And the absolute value, um, let's see how this, this curve looks like, right? This is just 1 minus, this is just 1 minus y. 1 minus y, because remember that the absolute value of y is equal to y if if y greater than 0, or negative y if y is less than 0. So because we are looking at this upper this upper point of intersection, right, we want this, um, this dot over here, we're looking at where it is positive, not where it is negative. So to solve this, um, we're just going to bring everything over to the left, and we're going to factor it. So 2y squared plus y minus 1 is equal to 0. And now this factors into, let's see, 2y squared. Um, we're going to expand this middle term plus 2y minus y minus 1 is equal to 0. So now we go 2y times um, y plus 1 minus 1 times um y plus 1 is equal to 0, and therefore we have that 2y minus 1 uh, is equal to 0, or y, um, y plus 1 is equal to 0. Let's see if we, if we did that right. Yes, we did. So we're only looking at the, at the positive side, right? So we have that y is equal to 1 one half. And the reason that we're only looking at the positive side is because um, if we were to look at the negative side, this would be a different a different curve all throughout because of the absolute value. Then I would have to do negative y um, instead of positive y. So now that we have their points of intersection, we also can see that instead of finding the lowest point, 2, over here, because they are symmetric, uh, we can just do twice the area from 0 to 1 half, right? Uh, and we know that they are symmetric because both uh, both curves have an axis of symmetry. So we can say that this is, uh, <clears throat> this integral is defined by twice the integral from 0 to 1 half. And now we have to remember that we are um, integrating with respect to y, right? Um, because if we integrate with respect to y, Oops, I should not have done that. If we integrate with respect to y, then we'll very clearly have the orange curve, sorry, the absolute curve as the upper boundary and the orange curve as the lower boundary. And I'll just zoom this in so you guys can see. So we're going to do this like horizontal. Um, maybe I should have drawn it in a lighter color. Let's see. We're going to do this like horizontal um, rectangle where the upper curve is the absolute value curve and the lower curve is the um, the orange curve. So now that we have this, let us just set up our integral and um, the upper curve then is 1 minus y, right? And the lower curve minus 2y squared. And let's just this is dy, and let's just um, double check our work. Yes, that is correct. So I just want to make sure what, that you guys understand why the upper curve is 1 minus y. Um, because our curve is 1 minus absolute value of y is equal to x, once more, we're taking the positive, um, the positive value of the function, right, because of the absolute value. So um, let us integrate this. This is twice y minus y squared over 2 minus 2y 
cubed uh, over 3 uh, evaluated from 0 to 1 half. So then this is just 2 times 1 half minus, let's see, this is 1 quarter over 2 minus 1 over 8. And then this is, let's see, uh, 2 times 1 over 8, so 1 quarter over 3 minus 1 over 12. So when we, um, when we work this out, let us put this in our calculator. So that is 0.5 minus 1 over 8 minus 1 over 12 and then times 2. So this will give us 7 over 12. And yeah, that is we drew the inequalities right? Uh, we drew them as curves, and then we found the, we shaded the area that satisfied the inequality, found the area between them, um, and then we saw that it was this green section, and then we said, hey, instead of going from, you know, negative one half to, to zero, and then from zero to one half, let's just, just do twice the integral from zero to one half um, of the upper curve, which is the absolute value one, the one drawn in purple, minus the lower curve, which is the one drawn in orange.